with MixCat. Uh, today I'm going to make the world's cheapest AC unit. I have a styrofoam cooler. Everyone's probably seen one of these and you can see the price. I got it for $2.50 at the dollar store. I'm going to actually cut this out and put a fan and we're going to put some ice inside. I'm going to show you how this works. Really, really simple to do. What kind of got me thinking about this is I have a couple friends in Florida that don't have AC in the car. My UPS guy actually don't have uh, AC in his truck, and it's like 100 degrees out in Florida. So I thought, hey, this could be a pretty neat way to remedy that situation. So we got the cooler. This is a AC version of it, but we can also do DC, and I'll show you that too. This was $10 at Home Depot. And they have these guys for the fans in a bathroom. Yeah, it's got the little fan in the center, and it blows out the side, and it's 110. Um, I'm going to cut a hole in this guy, and it's going to come out as a blower. So I'll show you how that works. You can see the temperature in here, at least I hope you can. It's 80 degrees in my garage. Not too bad. Uh, the bottom temperature is the outside temperature, which is 85 right now, and it's, it's evening, so it's a little bit cooler. But for you guys that don't have AC or can't afford it, this is a really cool way to have AC in a car or an apartment or wherever you go. And even in, if you're camping out, put something like this in a tent. And the coolest part about this is I'm going to actually use water bottles for my ice. So as they melt, you got water too, so pretty cool concept. All right, let's take our price off. This is a ghetto air conditioner. Hillbilly air conditioner, whatever you want to call it. But let's be real, it gets hot out. You got to have a way to cool it down. And this is pretty cost effective. You can see that's the vent. I'm going to actually um, cut a little hole over here, and I'm going to try to mount this inside. All right, one of the first things I had to overcome is this little notch on the bottom for mounting. I'm just going to go ahead and bang this down, bend it down rather. That should be good, just so we can go ahead and cut our notch out. That's going to sit totally on the floor. And I'm just going to show you there. I'm going to push this in just to make a little bit of an impression in the styrofoam. Now that I take that out, you'll see it made a nice little impression on the styrofoam. And I'm going to cut that out with the razor. All right, I got a little exacto knife. Just going to cut that out. Follow the little hole it made. Okay. <laughs> As I break that, it's all right. There she goes. All right. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not excited about this. Push the um, where the electric cord goes through. I'll reseal that too. should essentially be a little cooler, right? Put a little bit of a hole on the top just so it can draw, and that I'm going to do towards the back, that way it's pulling forward, 
actually, we're gonna do it from the, the corner here. It's coming out the front, and you can see this is drawing from the side here. I'm gonna put one in the back. That way, the air circulates. Put one right in the corner. Just a little hole, about the size of a pencil. Push down in. One next to it. And maybe one here. Let's see if it needs any more than that. I, I doubt it's going to need any more than that. There you go. And I'm going to get a little cord and I'm going to blow onto that little temperature gauge so you guys can see in real time that the temperature will go down. All right, you guys are going to laugh. My water's not frozen yet. I was excited to do the project here, but I got some stir-fry vegetables that's frozen. I'm going to throw that in. These waters are cold, so I'm going to put them in too. Get some more of those. And you can probably make out, I do have the, the cord plugged into the side there. All right. All right, put the top on, and I'm going to go ahead and plug him in. There's the cord. Put it right on my little temperature gauge. You guys get to watch it go down. It looks pretty cool. I gotta put some nice frozen waters in there, it'd be even better. I don't know if you guys can make out the temperature gauge, but we went down to 73. I put some ice in the top. The water wasn't frozen. So you guys can see, I put the ice in the top there. You can see if they were frozen water bottles, what it would do. It's already 72, which is beautiful temperature to me. I can live with that. It's actually really cold. Pretty good. Now just imagine, instead of 110, you can have one of those uh, car fans in the back pumping through. So 12 volt through, do it through a cigarette lighter. You're down to 63 degrees. Feels good. <laughs> we literally can feel it in the room. It's cool in the room. All right, we're gonna put a little bit more ice on the top. See if we can get this thing down to. Three, uh, almost three of these. It's like two and a half, I filled up. Oh, feels great. Yeah, no. 62.6. <laughs> and the ice is holding on nice, no problem. Not sweating much. Put that unit behind the computer. <laughs> you gonna bring the mountain, right? The overclock. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, oh my god, it's frozen. Yeah. And that's bad. If I run that on my computer, I overclock. Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to see 59 here. That's going real quick. <laughs> the more we stand over there. Yeah, that's a little bit. 
up to the temperature. She's going. C59. That's chilly. In a car, that would be great. Oh. Frozen. Yeah, when she's trying to clear the whole room, cooling down the whole room already. It's kind of 50 on 7, 50 on 5. Yeah, if you guys have um, a different play on this uh, to make it even better, do a video response. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. This is super low tech, really, really cheap. And let's face it, the economy is horrible, people are hurting. This is a really cheap way to have AC. Bag of ice. For 7 Eleven, two bucks. You're driving around, that's no brainer, especially in this state. 100 out, yeah, pretty good. 1592, that's crazy. Well, thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video.